is a JTPSA. So Goosebumps, it is a uh, young adult book series and um, show, but this video is not for kids. None of the Goosebumps that I've done or will do are. So just letting that PSA out. Kids, don't watch this. But let's do another Goosebumps. I haven't done that in months. I'm so hungover. <laughs> Hope everyone had a great Memorial Day. I'm feeling like shit right now, but still able to get up and let's watch some Goosebumps and talk about The Haunted Mask Part 2. It's another two-parter. So, like I said, these are going to be so far and few between when I do Goosebumps videos, but I was in a mood, so let's dive into it. I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. I mean, honestly, you got to give R.L. Stein some credit. <laughs> like... I did these a few of these months ago, so for this is probably the first one some newer people will see. I grew up with the Goosebumps books. Like, as Halloween was my entry into horror film-wise, and Friday the 13th right after, Goosebumps was my childhood horror book entry like into the horror genre. But it is amazing that R.L. Stein was able to do what he did. Even though he's pretty much ripping off a certain person his entire career. I am the golden god! So Carly Beth is back here with her friend from the first Haunted Mask. And she seems fine. She seems like she just forgot all about last Halloween. So good for her. She's carrying her head sculpture around with her. And now in this one, the, the bullies that bullied her last time, Chuck and Steve... Chuck's going to go get his own mask. And this is a pretty scary mask, man. Just like the first one. It's still very effective. The look of the haunted mask in the first one. The same with the haunted mask in this one. The old looking face. And then the spiders and shit start crawling out his nose. And like, <laughs> horrify of his. Great. Or maybe it's Steve. It doesn't matter. So Steve, Chuck. Steve, I'm pretty sure. Wants this mask. Like, he wants a mask. He wants to know where Carly Beth got the mask last year. And his friend, Chuck, says he's tired of being a pirate for Halloween. Be anything else. What do you mean? <laughs> this guy's been a pirate for his whole life for Halloween? He's never tried another costume? He needs to go from pirate up to evil mask. He's never done anything else? That's That's a stupid line. And I've said this in one of them in the past. I mean... It's it's from the nineties. It's a it's a goosebump show. Any of the effects, the effects in this and stuff, they're whatever. And some of them hold up actually. Like the mess floating around, doesn't look terrible. Like I've seen worse in in movies from like the early nineties, mid nineties, much worse. So I mean, for a show that was on what is this UPN nine or Fox or I forget what this aired on, but. It's not bad, some of the stuff. Like, the effects hold up a decent amount. Some of them are ridiculously stupid, but... <laughs> the stuff with the masks, though... And it makes sense, because these are two-parters and stuff, and it seems like they put a lot more effort into those. So we see the mask guy, and his face is all fucked up. It's coming apart, like, he's got sores and stuff. He looks like he's dying. And then he ends up seeing the floating mask from the first movie, and he's just chilling there. And he's terrified... And I'm pretty sure he ends up getting killed by this mask, right? Or, like, it, it comes onto his head. The mask comes on him. <laughs> Something like that. This is why I said not for kids. Yeah, he gets taken over by the mask. And it looks cool. Like I was saying, like, the, the mask on him looks cool. The way it looks like it's sucked to his face. The same with it was with Carly Beth in the first one. Can't complain. The same with the, the other mask, because we just got a shot of it just now. With the uh, old man mask that uh, Steve, Steve, whatever, is going to go and grab and steal from this place. Then Chuck and Steve see the shopkeeper wearing the mask and shit, and he knows it's the mask. I mean, you can't forget that mask. And he starts running over. I just want to know where you got that mask. And... He says to, to Steve, he's like, yo, we need to get this mask. Like, this might be our last chance to do something really scary for Halloween. Why? They're like 13 years old. 14, maybe? 15 at the most. I don't even think that. In their pre-teens, maybe. It's the last chance. 
that they got to do something scary for Halloween, they got a long life ahead of them. I mean, Steve almost doesn't because, <laughs> because he starts aging rapidly. But the other one, I mean, they got years ahead of them. I don't get that either. And this goddamn shopkeeper, the, the shop's been closed down. It's abandoned. And so they just break in while the, the mask on the, the shopkeeper guy is staring at them, stalking them in there. And the old man mask is just chilling there. This guy knows how evil these masks are. He went through the whole ordeal with Carly Beth a year ago. He just leaves a mask down there for anyone could come in. Vagrants, junkies, fucking anything could happen. Come on, man. This guy's leaving these, these supernatural masks just willy-nilly all over the place. That's kind of It's kind of stupid. I actually like the look of the shopkeeper with the original mask on. Because then he has like a black hood over him. And he's wearing like a black, all black and stuff. Looks pretty creepy. And then uh, Carly Beth, I almost said like, yo, this is the same house as last time. And I said, well, that makes sense. I saw Carly Beth said, it's her, it's her house. It should look the same. But now she's dressing like the duck that she hated last year. Which we saw her rip that thing to shreds. Which means her mom made a completely new duck costume. <laughs> A year later for her. And her friend, wasn't she a fucking tiger last year? I'm pretty sure she's wearing the same goddamn outfit. It looks... These people in this town just wear the same thing every year. Chuck says he's been a pirate for years. This girl is dressed up like a tiger. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure she dressed like that in the first one. This is funny. They, <laughs> Carly Beth and her friend finds out from Steve... Chuck, yeah, from Chuck. What that's going to be interchanged all the time. So if you <laughs> you don't remember this story, you're going to be confused as hell. But they find out that Steve got the, got a mask, and now they're like, "Oh my god, we got to find him. Those masks are evil." Blah 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 blah. He's dressed like a gangster, like a very stereotypical gangster with the, like the hat and the pins, the striped fucking suit. He's got cotton balls in his mouth like Marlon Brando. And the girls are both looking at him like, what are you supposed to be? <laughs> He's like, I'm a gangster, like from the movies. These people have never seen a gangster before. So, just like in the last movie, Steve puts his mask on and it starts changing him. It doesn't change him like totally evil, like uh, the mask that Carly Beth wore. This mask just like turns him into a complete old man, just like the mask looks. And that's got to be terrifying. <laughs> like, it is. To... Be a young kid like this, like I said, preteens, maybe a teenager, but, and to have to rapidly age to like an old man within a few hours on Halloween night, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> like, we've seen this a lot recently. I mean, this isn't recent, but recently we've seen a lot of stuff in horror regarding age and getting older like look at x and pearl look at um old by Shyamalan. we've seen a lot of that recently that's kind of like the new thing i think is like the fear of getting older and it is a scary thought i mean nobody nobody wants to get old <laughs> nobody wants to die and i think that's very effective here is that this is a young kid and he can't get this mask off eventually, and he's just reduced to an old, feeble guy. He can't walk at some point, like he's crawling on the floor. He talks like a raspy old guy, like he needs water because he's dehydrated and shit. Like, <laughs> he goes around just causing a muck everywhere, just a big ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? It's It's hysterical. Also, and I, and I say this all the time, I'm getting sick of saying it. <laughs> But, like, I can never say for sure if a premise has been done before. But, and I'm sure, I mean, getting stuck in a Halloween mask, I'm pretty sure this has been done. I mean, I can imagine it's probably been thought of multiple times. But just comparing it to King, because it's kind of hard not to compare Stein to King. I think this is his most original story, like both haunted mask movies. Because so many of his, not not like, all, it's not like I'm saying he's a complete ripoff of Stephen King, but we've seen a lot, a lot of the books that were turned into episodes, the original, like, 60-something books or whatever. There's a decent amount of that that 
so Stephen King. And the whole Night of the Living Dummy thing is such a rip off of Chucky. But I mean, it works. So I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, but he owes King of a lot. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Part two, pretty cool bubble effects and stuff on the mask. Like, it starts like distorting on his face and stuff, and then he's trying to get it off. He's trying to get water. Like I said, and dehydrated, he can't breathe. Like, I then this scene actually creeped me out as a kid, man. Like, when did this show come out? Ninety three, ninety four, or something like that. So I had to be. F- seven, eight, nine years old. This scene actually scared the hell out of me. <laughs> like, these two kids come across him, and he's saying, like, my mask, like, I, I need to get it off. Like, please help me. He's walking with a walking cane and shit. <laughs> That's funny. But he's like, the mask, take it off, please. And they're trying to take it off, and he's like, you know, you smell, first of all, is what they say. <laughs> and then they're trying to take the mask off. He's like, you know, man, this is, that's not a mask, that's your face. And then he, they just run away. The way they deliver that line, you're like, mister, that's not a mask. That's your face. And the music cues it. Creepy. Still holds up a little bit. And then we have the whole scene between old man and the shopkeeper in the haunted mask. And he wants Carly Beth's uh, fake head. Which is the whole symbol of love beating the evil mask. Whatever. It's dumb. So he sneaks into Carly Beth's house and he tries grabbing the goddamn thing, the head. And the shopkeeper told him he has to be at the graveyard and stuff by midnight, not a goddamn second less. If Steve had had a father, he would have warned him not to go into the woods with strange men. But he didn't. Sure! So you better hurry. So the mask floats off the guy and he's no longer there for some reason. Like, he had a whole body. Oh wait, no, no, he's back, never mind. (laughs) I was gonna say, he had a whole body and shit. And then his mask just flies at uh, Carly Beth, and then Chuck shoves him out of the way. Or Steve, fuck you. (laughs) One of them shoves her out of the way at the last second. And the mask comes flying at him, and you think something's wrong with him, but he gets up. He's still in the mask. And then the shopkeeper says, yo, take that mask off right now. And he goes to take it off. And it comes off. So what do they do here, (laughs) exactly? What happened here? Because he destroyed the head. Of Carly Beth. And that's supposed to, like, do something? (laughs) I don't know. The whole ending to this is kind of weird. The mask is just back. He said it's because, like, it was released. So I'm guessing Halloween brings, like, the power back to it. And that's why it came out of the grave and abducted the... uh, Not abducted, but took over the shopkeeper. Okay, so they explain it here. Him pushing Carly Beth out of the way was a symbol of love. Just like Carly Beth's head. <laughs> and and that did it. I don't know. And the shopkeeper still looks like a zombie. He looks deader than dead. Like He looks not good. He should get to a hospital immediately. So then they burn the mask. The original haunted mask. And then it comes, inflates back to normal in the fire, and then their dog comes and brings it outside and buries it in the yard. So apparently it can come back. And I don't know if they ever did another one after that. I mean, this is so long ago that I had the books. I don't think they did another one. Maybe, who knows? That's I'm not looking it up. I can guarantee you that. And that's The Haunted Mask, part two. Part 1 and 2. That, that's weird. Haunted Mask Part 2, Parts 1 and 2. <laughs> so, fun to get another one of these out of the way. They're very short. They're very easy to knock out. But for some reason, I mean, I just uh, not in the mood to binge these often or anything like that. But always fun to go back and rewatch some of these. So, I'm going to have a video out later. Should have been yesterday, but Memorial Day. So, it's going to make sense with the year anniversary of the channel. So, film coming out later. I'm going back to film. Bad guy. Good night. <laughs>
Anyway